Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Dudu in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Wants to get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Fucking kill you, cut! I got you. They're coming! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! That's what happened. Told you true. 
Dudu. What happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. 